Hey guys, AG Dolls Done Under here. You haven't seen me in like a year. Um, hi. You can see the squad back there. I'm gonna do a haul video because I recently got some cool stuff. On my Instagram, I posted a reel of a American Girl package that my lovely partner, Pixels from the Sky on Instagram, uh, bought me for my birthday this year. Uh, and since then, I've just been easing back into doll photography, easing back into AGTube as well. I'm catching up on all the awesome videos. Um, there are so many cool creators on AGTube at the moment. It's really exciting to see the community be back and big. I know it never left, but I did. So it's nice to come back to it. It's a really comforting space to be. So here's me trying to get myself back into AGTube. Um, I'll start by showing you uh, my new doll, sir. So. <laughs> um, on Instagram, I showed a reel of me op opening this package from America Girl, and I got Claudie. But in my collection, I'm calling her Estelle or SD for short. Um, American Girl quality still is glorious, but I love the new texture of the wigs. I don't know if it's just a Claudie thing, but I love how kind of crispy's the wrong word, because that's a bad word for doll hair, but it's it's textured, but it, it holds its shape really well. She's been recurled with the Doll Studio by Chris method. It's great to see Chris back on YouTube as well. I know he took a hiatus for a while. Um, yeah, so here is Estelle, or Esty. Um, so she was a birthday present for my partner. And I'm obsessed with her. Um, she's been on two photo shoots so far and I took her in my car to work so I can catch some photos in the pretty laneway outside where I work. Um, so she's been on an adventure and I can't wait to take her on some more. She's quickly becoming a favourite of mine uh, in my collection. She's kind of the soft, uh, very feminine character. So she wears a lot of pink, wears a lot of long skirts and short skirts, but mostly long and flowy, um, and she's a poet, so she's she sees the world in a hyper-romantic way, um, so I, I really hope to make some more videos showing off her personality and the squad behind me, their personality as well. So that is Esty, um, and then I recently discovered the joys of uh, shopping for AG items on Facebook Marketplace as an adult collector with not a lot of adult money but enough adult money to buy some nice things for themselves. Um, so I have my little wish list of dolls and of course I have the grails on there. I've got a Just Like You number four on the grail list. I've got who else is on my grail list at the moment? Cecile. Cecile is everyone's grail at the moment for good reason. Um, I'd really love the B Forever Felicity, not the historical Felicity, the Felicity with the darker green eyes. Um, I didn't get her when she was available like an idiot. Um, Chilimi 62 on that list as well. Any Sonali mold? I don't have a Sonali mold yet, so it's on the list. Um, and Corinne is really, really cute, and I'd like to have her face mold in my collection, but I'm at a point where I need to stop getting new dolls, she says, about to show you a new doll. Um, but on that list, um, I do have two classic mold dolls on that list, and one of them was for sale locally, um, and the other one is very rare, so there's no way I'm getting her. Um, so, Just Like You or Truly Me, number 29, with the brown layered hair that's kind of caramelly coloured, almost similar to Leah from my collection, Brielle, where's Brielle? Just back there. Um, I love that wig colour. Um, I love medium skin on dolls, and I love the brown eyes, uh, and Just Like You 29 has all of those, and she's so cute, and I really think the classic mould is so cute in the medium skin. I can't believe there are only a few released, but medium skin classic moulds are such a pretty combination. So I'm rambling, I picked up a now retired Just Like You number 29 locally in Western Australia, which is ridiculous because there's never any dolls locally in Western Australia that aren't like 400 Australian dollars plus. Um, but this lady was listed for 150, I got her for 120. Um, so really good price. She was 
grubby as all heck. Like she was magic erased and the magic eraser was coming up black. Um, like she was grubby. Um, but her hair was in perfect condition. Like there are no split ends. So this is my new gal, my newest Claudie slash Estelle wasn't the newest for very long but it's okay because she's beautiful and one of my new favorites um, but this is my very Australian girl uh, her name is Kimberly which is a region in Western Australia but a lot, I've heard I've met a lot of Kimberleys before which is a little koala friend uh, but this is Kimberly and Kimberly is aggressively Australian we'll talk in an Australian accent um, talk about crocodiles, only eat Vegemite on toast, her favourite animals are kangaroo, like she's an aggressive Australian stereotype and I really want to show that off in some videos because um, I like Kira Bailey Girl of the Year 2021 and the fact that she was Australian but I don't think she was Australian enough. I think we needed more aggressive stereotypes. Um, a little more bogan in there. Bogan is like the Australian word for rednecks but the Australianized version. So she's my little bogan gal, it's is Kimberly. Um, so she will almost exclusively dress in khaki, so I'm gonna find her more khaki clothes. Um, on the subject of dog clothes, today, oh, so I picked her up yesterday, um, and then in the same suburb, um, someone was selling a bitty twin and a bunch of clothes and like bags and all sorts of like little small doll things. And I have no interest in collecting bitty twins, bitty babies, but I really liked one of the pieces in the lot. And she was selling the whole lot of Biddy Twin plus a bunch of clothes and accessories for 80 Australian dollars, which is really cheap for doll clothes, um, especially here. Uh, so I messaged the seller and asked if she'd be willing to split the lot and just do the clothes and accessories and not the Biddy Twin. She said yes for 40 Australian dollars, which I believe with the current exchange rate that's a little less than 30 US dollars, which is the amount of stuff I got and for the fact that some of it's retired. Well, all of it's retired but some of it's like good good stuff um, I'm gonna show you what I bought I picked it up today um, I've gone through it once but I haven't like dressed any of the dolls in it yet so it's my next task um, so I'll show you the big thing first it included the American Girl fold-out bed um, with the blanket I don't think uh, this came with pillows but if it did it didn't have the pillows it's like a little bit of grub on it but it's in pretty good nick it's a bed and it falls up to a couch and a little blanket on top it's a white and pink not really the vibe of my doll room but not that I have a doll room at the moment I got too many dolls so I don't have space for the room the the room shelf is just their shelf now um, but hopefully I might be moving out in the next six months and getting a place where I can have a doll room that's the dream that's the goal it's a doll bed. Yee! Perfect for Estes vibes. Um, I'm going to show you the little bits and bobs and then show you the clothes. Um, so little bits and bobs. We have the American Girl Showtime book which is four little tiny humans and some of the pictures in this just scream 2005 and they're glorious. Um, and then a Biddy Twin adventure book which is disgustingly grubby so that's gonna get a nice wipe off with some disinfectant wipes it's a bit gross <laughs> but that's the only thing in this lot that I'm like ooh, that's gnarly um, some non-american girl items that are covered in Disney princesses so there's this little Disney princess backpack with a drawstring once again not really the vibe for my dolls but I could use it in a photo shoot sometime especially for back to school so that's got Cinderella Snow White and Aurora but then there's a crossbody that just has Cinderella. These would be cute if I eventually travel over the pond to Disney World. Maybe I could take a doll with some Disney things. Highly unlikely though. I am a poor student. <laughs> uh, next up we have this adorable, I don't know what set this is from, but it's this super cute headband with some sparkles on it. I'm just going to turn down the light so you can see things better. Look at me, professional AG tuber with a, a ring light. It's so cute. I haven't tried this on anyone yet. I have a feeling I know which set this came from because I have that whole set in here. Um, some Biddy Twin slippers. 
These would be cute for like Jimmy pajamas for Jimmy jams for some dolls. I want to do a, a PJ photo shoot now that I have a doll bed. Um, what shall I do next? This little crocheted beanie with a flower on it. This is so cute. Um, and it reminds me of the American Girl Chris's Stan Strong movie because I think at one point Chris was wearing a little hat in that movie. So it reminds me of that. So this might go on Robin, who's my Chris doll, who's my favorite girl of the year, even though everyone hates her. <laughs> uh, next up, we have the American Girl Play Chicago cap. I can't wait to put this on River, my boy doll. He's gonna look so cute in it. Or Billy, my McKenna, would also absolutely adore this hat. We have a little bitty twin bitty baby headband in these cute pastel colors. So it's gonna so super cute on Piper, who's my pastel gal. Um, these little corduroy shoes. I don't know which outfit these are from, but they're so sweet. And the corduroy is such a lovely feel and it's got this sweet plum colored ribbon. Some little flat sandals with flowers on them. They're a nice lavender color. These epic blue platform shoes with some beading on it which match an outfit that you're going to see in the rest of this haul. So if you know what shoes, is that, which outfit these shoes are from, you'll recognize them. Um, and then two pairs of something I need really badly, which is casual, not pink doll shoes. <laughs> so I have this pair of sneakers and this pair of sneakers. I don't recognize these ones at all, but they're a really nice solid feel. I'm going to put this all back in here. And there are a couple other little bits and bobs. Some bitty baby hair bows. These are so cute. These really, oh, these were not broken a second ago. Hmm. Little doll sized glasses. up. Oh, it's going to split. My camera likes to split videos over 12 minutes long into two things. So I'm going to have to edit this down. Um, teeny tiny glasses that I don't think fit on dolls. A bit small. <laughs> so they're gonna go in the miscellaneous stuff drawer of my house. This headband with a little butterfly on it. Once again, think it's a bitty baby thing. This little wristband with some flowers on it. Very cute. And then two, three pairs of doll socks. One that's white with pink toes. One blue argyle. And one of the highly classic Trilly Me socks in that awesome Trilly Me color palette from a long time ago. Those came in a little shoe box, which I can't wait to use. It's so cute. Ah, oh, very stitched tennies. Those from the shoes that I was just saying. I didn't recognize them. Wow. And the cutest of the mini accessories that I got. It's the licorice lunchbox. It doesn't have any of the accessories that go with it. But this lunchbox is so cute because it's got a little black cat on it and I am a crazy cat lady at heart. I just picked up the Art Generation Berman kitten because there's no cats, oh, no cats that I can find locally or for a decent price that look like my cat who's a grey cat with blue eyes. Uh, really similar to the praline or the uh, striped tabby kitten that AG did a long time ago. Um, back when I was still collecting, so 2015. Yeah, so this is the cutest thing. It's got a cat on it. It's a little lunchbox. Kind of want to use it just as a normal bag for dolls. It's so cute. Nothing in it. It's just cute. All right. None of the good stuff. I'm going so over my time limit that I set for myself. So I'll show you the non-AG items first, and then go into. Bitty twin and then full size American girl. So there were one outfit that's not AG and it's I think part of that Disney princess set. It's got a shirt with Ariel, Belle and Cinderella on it. And these jeans which are really cute and have belt loops. So they'll go nicely with my doll belts in the act too, but they're really cute. So yay for some basic jeans. Probably will go once again go to River my boy doll because he needs some spoiling. Bitty Baby items, there are some really cute things in here. Bitty Baby slash Bitty Twin, I can't really tell. I haven't looked any of these outfits up. 
but there's this super cute tunic top with this little flower embroidery this is like if I was a doll scale I would wear this so I'm hoping this will look really cute on Esty because I think this is something she'd enjoy wearing or Kestrel my just like you 26 um, next up we have an outfit that I'm not sure I'll use but it's super cute it's got this rainbow denim pinafore with a super cute rainbow belt um, if anyone Robin my Chrissa would wear this came with a matching bag and this shirt that goes underneath I think I'll use this a lot it's a lovely color nice puff sleeves next up we have this pastel yellow shirt with a teddy bear on the inside and some gingham around the collar and cuffs it's so cute this pink little apricot jumper with the same gingham and this love heart little toggle it's so cute bitty baby stuff is adorable and it makes me want to collect bitty babies but I don't really like them um, so I'm gonna put these on my full-size girls and just kind of safety pin them if they're too big these jeans that went with that outfit not really my style but still cute look how it's got stuff on it uh -huh. I know what that is it is from my dinner uh -huh. look at me being a terrible collector it's rice <laughs> here we have these jeans these ones have some paint on them so I might have to give these a wash now we're up to American Girl items there are some cute things there are some stuff that will likely be doll pajamas um, yeah so we have these oh sorry these are still bitty twin pants that went with that tunic it's got a little flower on the side they look like doll sized yoga pants so maybe I can try this under dolls now for American Girl items I have these American Girl play Chicago pink v-neck so fun and hot pink don't really have a hot pink wearer in my collection so once again might be doll jammies white shirt with a pink flower and some rhinestones on it. it says AG likely use this as a layering item still sweet everyone's favorite just like you hoodie with the rainbowy stripes and I love this piece it's so fun I've been actually looking for it for a little while now it's definitely been on my list of things I want to buy for my dolls because I think Raven would look really good in this we have these aggressively sparkly crissy crossy holographic -y, shiny tights don't know how I'm gonna use them they're fun another item that's very Ravencore could possibly go to Alice my little spooky lady this is an American Girl Place Los Angeles exclusive hoodie I love this one it's such a good staple piece next up we have more bits and pieces I'm likely not going to use American Girl sparkly star leggings go in my pajama box for dolls and a long nighty style shirt oh my cat has come to join us these little leggings with some lace at the bottom and I know which outfit these are from and you're gonna see the next piece from it in just a second these are from the thing I was most looking forward to hi the American Girl Kit Kittredge exclusive t-shirt I believe this is from the Kit Kittredge movie launch um, which happened in the 2010s next up guys look I'm not sure of the name of this outfit but it's like a linen uh, with some lining and these beautiful flowers and this is made for Esty she's gonna look so sweet in it I can't wait to put her in it today we have those jeans that go with the truly me meat outfit super fun embroidered so 2008 and then next up we have the entire blue tunic outfit so it's got this really fun tunic with some sequin details and these iconic jeans which looks like they've been worn hey get out of that and this awesome American girl carry bag this is gonna be fun to take out on photo shoots and the thing I'm most excited for which might not be 
everyone's most favorite American Girl piece, but it's been on my wish list since I started collecting. Um, it's the licorice, licorice play outfit with this sweet little, I don't even know what color to call this, like a torpy, mauve goodness, dark purple little jumper dress and it's so cute and I love the little embroidery on the hood and how it's got that lace that matches the leggings on the inside. I can't wait to put this on all my dolls, it's so cute. That's my entire haul. Um, this is a longer video than I was expecting it to be. Um, thanks for watching guys, I'm gonna grab Kimberly and grab Esty. Thanks for coming and hanging out. It's great to be back on AG2, back on AGIG. Um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Um, I don't know if people even say like and subscribe anymore. I don't know, interact with this video. I prefer you comment than liking or subscribing because I like chatting and hanging out with you guys. Okay.